Hi, welcome to Top Dice. My name's Aid. I've got Chris and Jay with me. Today, we're going to be talking very quickly about magazines. What's on at the moment, what's actually available, and how good they actually are. So, Chris, we'll go over to you first of all. What's the first thing you've got there? Okay, it is a copy of Miniatures War Games. Okay, that's the current issue. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, I know it's, um, it's about miniatures and war games we're about role playing so bear with me but this um this particular magazine has an awful lot of uh creative content that you can take from the tabletop and put into your role playing games uh be it either miniatures actual role playing games that they've actually reviewed in here which is really really nice um various scenarios just generally it's just really 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 chock full of all kinds of interesting things uh that you know you can just you know you can read any issue and you can think oh you know what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do an adventure in the trenches of world war one or you know what, my my particular game could really, really do with a um, a new sort of piece of scenery that you can build. Um, they also have free gifts now and again, usually miniatures, um, which are massively useful. A free miniature is brilliant. You know, so many uses. So what, what, role, um, what role playing games got? What, what role playing games we've got mentioned in that particular issue? Then, just to give us some idea is for example uh it talks about fallout okay yep um and then you have uh where are we there are various references to um stargrave uh, the, uh i think it also talks about I think somewhere in there, if I'm right, uh, things like the Pathfinder. Yeah, so big, some big names actually, sort of in there as well as your uh, your, your ordinary sort of stuff. Um, some issues, some issues more than others. Um, yeah. But generally, you can. I mean, if you're one of these people that like building okay. scenery and things like that, it's a proper old. Very cool. It's a proper old school how to with things lying around the house okay you, know, you don't have to go out and remortgage the place you can just build like a small a small scenario with literally next to nothing and what's the name of the mag magazine again it is miniature war games oh, uh, okay. available uh -huh. from uh usually where you buy all decent magazines I've I seen it at WH Smith, I think that's, and possibly Tesco's that's as well. Yeah. yeah, places like that, or you can buy it online. Um, but yes, it's I definitely worth it. Okay, I would recommend that. Right, that's a good one from yourself, Jay. What have you got for us? Okay, so I've got War Games Illustrated, uh, which uh, I subscribe to, so I guess to do it to me else. This makes life easier. Uh, and it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, plus, I haven't got news agents anywhere near me, so I have to have it delivered to my house. <laughs> oh, I ain't got much choice. Um, this is more kind of, I mean, I do a lot of skirmish gaming, so I do war games such, but I do do skirmish, like uh, Silver Bayonet, O200. Uh, well, I mean, the... I'm, I'm a bit of a 2000 D fan, so... Uh, yeah, well, they're, is, they're uh, all... They, they all link into role-playing anyway, um, what you mentioned, yeah, actually. So this, yeah. uh, and Silver Bayonet especially, you know, probably but, lots of uh, role-players won't have heard of that, but I'm aware of it. Chris, you should actually sort of look oh, at it as well yeah. if you haven't. I know, I know all about that. Yeah, Fant fantastic yeah. game. Yeah, but, um, this is pretty cool because it, I mean, the, the ABC Warriors mixes in with Judge Dread and it mixes in with Slain. So you guys have Judge Dredd with the ABC. Apart from that, the magazine's pretty good. Um, it has things are back. Says you had a this week. It's got how to build a watchtower. Um, for, so if you want to even use miniatures, you can take build stuff. This also comes with free gifts. So, for example, I had these, um, what are these? These are space dwarfs that I got for free. 
Squats. Uh, which can be handy for lots of things, little space dwarfs. And I also got these uh, these French grenadiers. Um, now, the French grenadiers are a bit weird. I wouldn't in French, I don't, as I said, okay. but these would be excellent for people who play Turnip 28. Um, stick a, you know, a weird head on it and some uh, grass and stuff, and you've got yourself a Turnip 28 character. Um, so yeah, it's a good magazine. I get it. I read it, as I said, for skirmish gaming more than anything else. I tend not to do a lot of war gaming, but if you're gaming, uh, there's not a great deal of role playing here, even though it does says does say world's premier tabletop magazine, well, uh, gaming magazine. So it might do at some points. I can't yeah. remember seeing any. But at the end of the day, if you still do skirmish gaming, you want some free minis, you know, a little sprue like this is in war game Atlantic. I think they are. Uh, not so bad. How, how much is that one? Uh, for Nine. I think I get it for five. Oh, you cut out a bit there. I think sixty quid for twelve issues. I think. Yeah, it's about five, five, five ninety nine. They have a subscription. <laughs> um, quite, quite, quite a decent deal actually, because you get like an awful yeah. lot of stuff online, yeah. back issues, various articles. Um, it, it's, it's well definitely, worth it. you know, one of the better magazines out there. Um, at the moment well both of those are definitely worth a look at uh, I'm going to throw my lot in with that one there Dungeons and Dragons Adventure Mag now this is a, a part work hatchet one obviously it's very much 5th edition d and um, it comes with a whole load of articles the artwork as you can see is is quite D&D-ish actually uh, if you're into that sort of thing this is a, a druid special um on the, on that particular page you've got all sorts of information around monsters as well for a games master uh you also get character sheets in them as well so there is an adventure in each one the adventure in this particular one well the, the, the count, called encounters this particular one is called a day at the market now i'm not going to sort of show any more of that because if you're going to be playing through it that's going to be thing now it is eight ninety nine, and there's not much of it. It's quite a thin thing. You do get some nice dice with it. That's the the dice that come with this particular issue. I like this because it opens my eyes and gives me new ideas about fifth edition. I, I'm still constantly sort of learning. I know the rules. I'm absolutely fine with this, but this kind of opens it up and gives me a another dimension. I think actually of it. They do include random tables at times, which don't appear anywhere else. Uh, the adventures don't appear anywhere else either. Some of the stuff is pretty bog standard, but every issue so far, I've been able to pull information out and use it. Um, Emerald Enclave, that's one of the uh, one of the, the various factions that you get in 5th edition D&D with this particular uh, setting. Um, there you go. Random tables I mentioned earlier. Magic items, magic... Uh, tables there so you do get quite a bit and as I said you do get the dice now this is available subscription really only now I don't think you can buy it in the shops anymore but it is worth definitely a look at so if you're into D&D do consider that that's issue 17 I've got it since issue 1 I've loads of dice now through this every issue is a dice set really uh, I'm, 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 I'm overflowed with dice so I might even go in for yeah, it, it's not it's not a cheap one, uh, this one at all at that price. I, I might actually start offering some of these dice up uh, on future videos just to uh, just to sort of spread the love about because they are <laughs> excellent quality. And uh, you know what, little competitions um, etc. Going forward, not unheard of. So, like uh, like all the magazines we've uh, we've met uh, uh, we've mentioned here, all. All, all, all three of these uh, publications are massively useful to the role player. Uh, you can take various ideas, be it just a single image or um, a scenario or the adventure in yours, Aid, yeah. could be used for various different uh, role playing um, games, not just D and D. Any fantasy game that would work with, oh, you know yeah. Um, or even the idea of it, you could port over to a sci fi sort of system, or you know, the Wild West, if you're into that kind of thing. Yep, literally, yep. your imagination, um, 
literally is your only limitation. Um, now, as good as these are, there is another magazine that I'd like to talk to you about. And that is the Tabletop Gaming Magazine. It's a UK-based um, magazine claiming to be for board games, card games, miniatures, and role-playing games. Okay, um, good. But I'm sorry, guys, but it isn't. Hmm. Um, this It was at one point... Um, a magazine that covered all all kinds of different things uh but sadly now um it is a pale shadow of its former self i'm sorry to say i would not recommend this for anybody who is into role playing because you will waste your money basically well that's uh, a bit of a bit of a it, it used to be quite good did that magazine at one stage be. it's been it's, it's yes. been a long while since i bought it i'll be quite honest so hands up i'm Partly responsible for the way it's going, I suppose. Um, uh, unfortunately, the articles that they used to run for role playing games and various sorts of things just aren't in anymore. Um, it's the past. The past current issues have been rather sort of. Well, they are board game based, and the people they're talking to. Um, I, I don't know who they are, um, and it's all rather self-indulgent and drab, if I'm being honest. Right. Oh, well, that, that's not a grammar. So one to oh. avoid then. Yeah. Three, to, three to look at, one to avoid. I just wish that we still had the old-style White Dwarf magazine back. Um, yeah. Or something similar. Or something uh, similar. Games yeah. Master, which was another great magazine. Um, the, I want to say Yeah. Uh, the GM magazine, that was amazing. Yep. And there was another magazine which featured quite a lot of Slay Industries during the 90s. That was an amazing magazine. I, I forget what it was called. That was incredible. Things like yep. that it needs needs to come back. But We can hope. Yeah. We can hope. Well, yeah. there we go. Um, hopefully a bit of information for you. Three we liked, one we didn't. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. If you do like the magazine... Yeah please sort of say uh we're not available we might have got things wrong if you think we have do tell us thanks very much and uh, hopefully uh, see you soon bye-bye thanks guys